God for the promise. Thank you. Amen. 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 Everybody stand to your feet and grab hold to the the grab hold to the hand of the person next to you. I'll give me a hand. Somebody sit next to sit next to brother that so she can grab some. Yeah. <laughs> she got a chance. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Father God, we just give you all the praise and all the glory. We thank you, Father, for the person's hand. We speak blessings into their life. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus.
truth is the word of God. Jesus said in John 17 and 17 in his prayer that thy word is true. So when we know the word and when we stand on the word, no lie can penetrate it. But we got to know the word. That's right. We got to stop listening to the devil. We got to stop allowing him to tell us any and everything. Right. He is not your friend. He don't care anything about you. He's not trying to help you. He he would <laughs> he would give you money. He would allow money to flow to you to get you out of the will of God. He would allow you to win lottery, the lottery to get you out of the will of God. He would cause you to get a job on Sunday where you can't go to church. We say, well, that's God doing that. Well, let's think about that. If God is going to give you something that's going to push him, push you away from him, you have to think about stuff like that. You know what I mean? And I know there, there, there's circumstances sometimes when you have to work on Sunday. That ain't what I'm saying. But when it takes you away every Sunday, when it takes you away from Bible study, when it takes you away from prayer, you got to start now uh, checking it out and say, well, is this from God? Because I don't, I don't have time to spend with God anymore. You understand what I mean? The enemy is very deceptive. God is not going to give you nothing that's going to hinder you from spending time with him. I know this pastor was talking on television, Flo was listening to, where he turned down a job because it would have caused him to work on country. You understand? Sometimes you have to just trust God in that area. Right? You know, you have to be discerning. You have to know if this is from God or not. But the devil is very tricky. Amen? Amen. So we're talking about, in this teaching, we're talking about controlling your thoughts. 